Mikey. Welcome back to the farm. Glad to have you here today. A uh, little dirty. Been cleaning out the barn and getting the baby's areas cleaned out and fed and watered. And I uh, just wanted to take a few minutes to talk with you for a while. Um, I came across something the other day uh, that I read whenever I do my daily devotional. And uh, just got me thinking on a couple of things here. Um, and just wanted to share it with you and see what your thoughts are. So um, anyway, um, what I read the other day, it said, If you don't like the beginning of your story... Ask the Lord to give you a better ending. So, just been doing some reflection on that um, the past couple of days. And, uh, you know, it, it's pretty deep when you, when you think about your life and, you know, where you came from, where you are, and where you're headed and going. Um, you know, we tend to focus more on what other people think or feel about us and we're so busy in life trying to impress this world my question is why why are we so worried about impressing anything of this world you know my focus the past couple of days and reflection on, on this is, you know, internally looking at myself. You know, um, I shared with y'all my vulnerability of, you know, letting myself get um, out of shape and, uh, you know, trying to work on, you know, getting myself back. You know, you, you tend to, especially females, um, are harder on their self about what society seems to think um, about their weight or their appearance or their clothing or, you know, why? You know, God created us in His image. We're all different. So why is everybody trying to be the same? That would be such a boring world to live in. If we were all the same, if we all thought the same, we all dressed the same, we all talked the same, we had the same thoughts, the same aspirations in life. So why are we trying so hard to conform to being like everybody else? It makes no sense. We're special. We were created different, but we were created in the image of our Lord and Savior. That's what we need to focus on. That's what we need to work on every day of our lives is living our life for our Lord and Savior. You know, we're not promised tomorrow here on this earth. And what we need to be working for is our eternal life. You know, everything here is going to go to the wayside. This isn't something that's promised to us forever. And, uh, you know, I don't know why we don't understand that sometimes whenever we have loved ones around us that pass on every single day. You know, were, were they prepared or were they too focused on things of this world? Um, you know... We all need to think about that before our life runs short and it's too late. So, um, you know, that that's what I've been focusing on the past couple of days. And, uh, you know, I, I want to, in my platform, on my channel, uh, try to share my experiences here on the farm. But to also give thanks to my Lord and Savior for everything that he's provided for me, you know, um, whether you're rich or poor or whatever your situation is in life, we're all blessed. And there's always something to find to be thankful for. So, um, you know, society today is so worried about 
you know, their appearances on social media and how many likes they have and, you know, hey, does the Lord like you? <laughs> That's what we need to be worried about. Not Joe Blow down the road or Susie across the street. You know, uh, we've gotten out of just sitting down and actually communicating with each other. It, it's all done by social media. Uh, you know, I, I think along the way we have forgotten how to actually communicate with each other. And I feel like that's why the world, the way it is now, has gotten where it is. Um, failure to communicate. You know, uh, we want to tend to put everybody in a group. And, uh, you know, that that's, I don't understand that either. You know, we're all human beings. We all bleed the same color. We might be a different color on the outside, but we all have a heart. We all have a brain. You know, God gave us a conscience. God gave us wisdom. We just have to ask him to uh, give us his wisdom, not ours. You know, uh, we, we need to quit trying to understand things in our little immature mentality things uh above are so much greater than what we can ever imagine or or think them to be so um you know all the violence going on in the world today um you know i, I really do i i feel like you know we've failed to take the time to talk to one another and uh Everybody, you know, if you don't fit in with this group or you don't fit in with that group or you don't think like this group or this person here or, you know, dress like everybody else or you're different. Why? <laughs> it's good to be different. Why is everybody trying to act the same? You know? So, uh, give me your thoughts. What you think. I think that we need to stop being so selfish in this world. We need to stop trying to act like everybody else. You know, find your purpose in life. It, it took me a while. You know, I, I, I always, you know, question, you know, what is, what is my purpose here? And uh, I, I thoroughly believe that God provided this farm for me. So I can take care of his creatures that he has provided and uh, get out and enjoy nature and all that he's done for us. And that's what we need to be focused on. We need to be focused on helping each other and loving one another. And, you know, everybody comes from a different background. You know, why is everybody being so judgmental? We're not here to judge. That's not our job. So, uh, you know, today, think about things in your life, where you're headed once this life is over. How do you react to other people? What can you do different? What can you do to help change the ways of this world now. You know, I, I hear so many of the young um, generation talk about, you know, the way things are going and, um, you know, been expressed that, well, you know, there's nothing we can do about it, so why bother? You know, I'm, I'm just living my life day to day and doing what makes me happy. Um, you know, and I, I'm not going to care about anything else but myself because, you know, there's no point. Well, that's the wrong mentality. That's the wrong way to think. You know, if you want things in this world to be different, then start doing something to change it. 
don't conform yourself to the way the society wants you to be. Conform yourself to the way that the Lord wants you to be. That's what we need to do. And I think, honestly, the church needs to step up. You know, when I was growing up, um, if it wasn't something that was biblical or right with the Lord, the church expressed their stance on it. And the way I see it now, churches are starting to conform to whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's right or if it's wrong. Now, I understand, you know, churches need to be open to anybody. Because if we're so closed off as a church to welcome anyone, sinner, saint, into our church to give them an opportunity to know the Lord, then yeah, we're wrong. If we're, if we're pushing people away from the Lord, we need to be bringing people closer to the Lord, especially now. More so now, you know, Satan, Satan's rampant and, uh, he, he's taken a lot of people down with them. And when we get to, um, heaven and we have to answer to our maker, what did we do to help people come to him and receive that salvation? What did we do? So I hope that this platform on my channel will help reach anyone that is in a position that needs to know the Lord, get their life right with the Lord, that um, somehow can provide that salvation to you. That's, that's what I want. I really do. You know, um, kids nowadays, all they do is talk about how toxic their parents are or their friend or ex-friend and how quick and easy it is for them to just jump in and out of relationships. You know, I understand that, yeah, there there are some people that is not good for you to be around. You need to find people that are like-minded, that are doing good things in the world. Um that treat people um, the way that they need to be treated. That's the people that you need to, excuse me, associate yourself with. I'm a little bit hoarse still, y'all. You know, and uh, what I was saying, you know, all uh, how is it, you know, these kids nowadays, everything's toxic. Everything's toxic. Well, you know, when you fail to learn how to communicate, you fail how to honor your parents, you fail how to love thy neighbor, you fail to know how to help people in need. Um, yeah, things are going to be toxic. They always will. It doesn't matter. How many relationships, excuse me, how many relationships you jump in and out of, you know, you need to learn how to communicate. You need to learn how to have relationships with people that aren't always going to be like you, that think like you, act like you. You know, we need to accept people for who they are. And uh, just um, start loving each other. Start helping each other. And start getting out. Put your phone down. Get away from the TV. Get away from all this social media. 
and uh, things that want to conform you to what they want you to be. Get outside. Take some time to spend in nature. Take a walk. You know, turn everything off and talk to your Lord and Savior. He'll talk to you. You just have to ask him to and you have to be quiet and listen. You have to learn to listen to the voice of the Lord. And we have to start learning and how to listen to each other. So I don't know if that helped anybody out there today, but uh, like I said, that was something that I read and uh, just wanted to take a few minutes and share my thoughts with you. I'd love to hear your thoughts back and, you know, maybe uh, comment below instead of being so negative about things in this world. What can we do to change things of this world to make it a more positive place? You know, if you don't like the beginning of your story, ask the Lord to give you a better ending. We need a better ending, y'all. We need a better ending. This world is getting way too chaotic, way too violent, way too unloving, uncaring. We don't help our neighbor anymore. You know, come on, y'all. We got to quit being so selfish. We got to change the ending to this story. Let's remember that we're all human. We all make mistakes. Nobody here is perfect. And our job here is to learn from our mistakes and help those that we see that are fallen and uh, help keep them from making the same mistakes in life that uh, we do. Lead them in the right direction. You know, if you are in a position of authority or in a position to influence anyone around you, especially children, especially our younger generation, um, you know, you need to lead by example. You need to lead them the right way. And, uh, you know, our younger generation um, puts a lot of emphasis on celebrities and being popular and famous and rich. <laughs> money isn't going to solve everything. And money's not going to get you where you need to be when this world's over. So, um, you know, to our younger generation out there, you know, y'all need to remember we're all human. You know, the celebrities and movie stars and famous people um, that play sports and musicians and, you know, all the fame and glory they have. You know, you younger generation need to realize and understand they're only human. They're human just like me and you. Um, they're no different. No different at all. They put their pants on the same way we do every morning. And, uh, you know, a lot of times these people that are in those uh, positions of fame and fortune, you know, there's a lot of downfall with that too. A lot of downfall. You know, they get in the wrong groups and the wrong crowds and around people that are not of uh, good influence to them. And they get caught up in drugs and alcohol. And, uh, you know, that's not what we need to be influencing our generation coming up in this world. You know? We need people in the church to step up. Lead these kids. Lead this world. You know? Where did the church get lost along the way? Need to get back to the way 
it's supposed to be. We need to influence those around us to right things in this world. You know, um, society now is leading a whole lot of people down a path of destruction with all the lies and this is okay and that's okay. No, it's not. It's not. It's, it's going to lead to destruction. And uh, that's what you need to remember. Get your priorities in order. Get your life in order. Get your Bible out. It's got all the answers to any question you have about anything. You don't have to uh, rely on the popular crowd or somebody famous to lead you. Let the Lord lead you. And you'll never go wrong. Like, subscribe, and share. Y'all be safe out there. I hope you have a great day. God bless. Ride the mule and cut the fool and love again on the bus.